welcome back to my channel. Who's an organized bitch this week? It's me. Guys, it's Monday. It is a public holiday here in Victoria, but not for me. I have been working. I have just done a photo shoot, which I can't wait to show you. It's amazing. And it's just me in this car, but I'm at the house and we're gonna do a renovation update. I'm a little bit unhinged. You know why? Because I'm hungry. This is my lunch, a cheese and bacon roll. A bit of nostalgia. I don't remember the last time I had one of these. Mm. I only like the bits with the cheese and the bacon on it. I don't want the crust. I also put up a question box and uh, I'm just waiting for people to ask me questions. So by the time I finish eating my cheese and bacon roll, it should be freaking good. That's my clothes. We just had a beautiful photo shoot. You'll see a little bit more of that in the weekly vlog and hopefully some of the content soon. Oh my God, guys, I'm so hungry. I don't think it's a public holiday everywhere today. My manager, Em, is in Sydney and she's still working. I feel like it might be in Adelaide and Tasmania. Okay, I'm not eating that bit, but I am going to start eating the middle of the other one. Yes, I'm having two cheese and bacon rolls. Don't don't come for me, please. You girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. That. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. My builder just messaged me because I asked him, when can I come and film this? Because I don't want to be one of those annoying people that's like in the way of the trades. I want them to do their job and not have my sticky nose fucking up their ass. And he's like, come on Saturday, Sunday or Monday because it's obviously a public holiday. I have to come today. Kind of works out good because I'm going to Adelaide on Friday. I'm recording tomorrow. I have brand stuff to film on Wednesday and on Thursday. She a busy girl. Oh my God. Look at all the little bacon bits. Okay. Wow. I really click baited you all. I said it's a renovation update and the first three minutes are me eating this fucking cheese and bacon roll. All right. Let's go in. Oh my God. I have a kitchen. Shut up. <laughs> Okay, for everybody playing along, this will be where the fridge goes. I think it's just like standard fridge size. I'm assuming this is the pantry. It is. And we actually have the plans here. So I'm going to show you. You can see here that we've got fridge, pantry, oven is going there. Sink is where we're currently sitting. But I want to show you the detail. I chose these beautiful sleek handles because I just wanted to bring the property into 2023. And I'm so happy with how the white has come up. It's like a matte. It's not gloss, which is what I wanted. We've also got some storage up here. This property had no storage, guys. So I'm really happy that I'm able to create some of that now for whoever will live here. And then, damn right, we're going to open every fucking cupboard. Look at that. Sorry. Oh, random cupboard. Another random cupboard. Another random cupboard. I feel like in every Australian household, it goes cutlery. Then it's got like all your other utensils. And then it's like the tea towels and random shit. And then there's like all the household junk that sits in this drawer. Tell me that I'm wrong. We have some more storage under here. I cannot believe this. Wow. 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 Obviously that is going to be range hood and the oven. I think this is just like hiding that thing. Oh, look, a bit of storage. Wow, more storage. Who's gonna be able to reach up there? They're gonna need a fucking ladder. And then more over here as well. Oh my God. And then that is your view out. But then we have more storage over here. So sink, I believe. Okay, I stand corrected. Cause look, there is the taps. Sink there, dishwasher here. So I'm actually putting in a dishwasher, a small one. Cause it's a small property. But there was no dishwasher here either. And then because we are, this is not the final look by the way, this here is temporary. So I actually selected stone and the stone will come from the stone mason. So I think this is like the template. And you can see here, stand built kitchen. That's my builder, stand built kitchen. And it's just probably the cutout for them. And oh my gosh, is there anything else that I'm missing on here? Okay, yeah, my, my stone is called snow. My doors are accent white velvet. And then the handles are tech fork. And this is from Concept Cabinets, you guys, who is the cabinet maker that my builder uses. So I think I'll answer one question while we are in the kitchen and then we can move to the next room. This question, I originally thought I would answer differently, but it is, is a part of you sad you're making it so beautiful and you're not going to live there? And I think when I purchased the property, I purchased it with the long-term vision that it was going to be an investment. This was never going to be my forever home. I was going to live in it though. So when my address got leaked, I was very upset, as you could imagine. If you're wondering, your address got leaked, what Adele? Go back and listen to the ordering what the car ordered in front of me, because I answer it there. And there's an old 
older renovation update that you can go back and watch if you're interested in that. But I was sad initially that I wasn't going to move in here. And even now I'm a little bit sad. Like, don't get me wrong, seeing this beautiful kitchen. I think I'll have a heart attack when I see the stone and when I see the tiles go in. I think I'll probably cry at that point because that will really show it coming to life. But... I'm not sad. I'm actually excited and I feel like hopefully someone will love this as much as what I would have and yeah, it's just something that I've learned to accept. The address got leaked a long time ago and I have accepted it since then. All right, let's move to another room. Which one should we do? Bathroom or laundry? Nothing's happening in there. We're going in the bathroom. Holy shit. Again, I have cabinets and I have storage. And as you can see, I've got the bench top in here. We did not choose a stone bench top for the bathroom just because that is quite expensive. I wanted stone in the kitchen, not in the bathroom, but very happy to say that whoever lives here will have a lot more storage. And again, we've got the same handles all the way through uh, what we've got. So it's just all the little cupboards there. And we're gonna be putting a sink in the middle. Now I've picked 32 millimeter laminate Alberin smooth and my base door is accent white velvet. There is more storage up here. So there's actually glass mirror doors that slide across. I had to get new glass. They are actually at my house at the moment. And so that will go in there. So people could potentially put stuff behind onto like these shelves as well. They're very dirty. That will need a bit of a clean too. Obviously we still haven't had the tiles done, but I assume that might be next possibly. Toilet is the same. And then the laundry. Oh my God, look at this. Shut up. Wow, I keep saying shut up. So we've got some cupboards and we have some length, whatever you want to call that. I think for like ironing boards, for what else? Mops, things like that. More storage up there. And oh, that's so good. I believe, what is this? Maybe the washing machine goes there? Or is there a sink going there? Guys, I don't know. Okay, some more storage up there. Is there a piece of paper? Oh, there is. I don't know what I'm doing in here. Okay, so I'm right. So you can see there that the washer will go there. Then there's a sink and then we've got that cupboard here. Fantastic. I'm so stoked with this. It's come a long way. I forgot to answer a question in the bathroom, but we will answer a question here. Did you have money previously saved for your renovation? And I feel like I spoke about this in a mukbang, but I got approved for $650,000. That's how much I got approved for from the bank based on my deposit. I think I had between like 60 to $70,000 saved. I had saved that over a couple of years, more than a couple, maybe three years working my last full-time job. And then obviously when I purchased the property, I knew at the auction, I fucking knew before the auction that it needed TLC. The property is from 1970 and it looked gross. The kitchen was disgusting. The laundry was disgusting. I knew that I was going to have to do some TLC to it. And so I had discussed with my broker that I wanted to do renovation, but I didn't want to spend $650,000 at the auction auction because I needed money for the renovation. And so I ended up buying this property for $605,000. I was still approved for the 650 and I don't know what magic my broker did, but she essentially got me that $45,000 back so that I had that money for the renovation. I had $45,000 to play with. Not like that was free money guys. No, I still have that in debt. That makes sense. My broker worked her magic. And so that was the large portion of the renovation money since then obviously I've still been working. I work more than full time if I'm completely transparent with you. I run a successful YouTube channel. I run a successful podcast. I work with brands. I have affiliate codes. I'm also bringing out my own products and lines of things. And so there's a few income streams there, but as it stands, all of my extra money currently going into the renovation. I expect that this will be finished in the next two months. And after that, my money will be going to Europe. So that's my plan because I really just wanted to get into the property market and so did I save for the renovation? I was saving for the house deposit and I guess my answer is yes because some of that money got used for the house. I've still been saving since then and the money's been going back into the property. Obviously I'm trying to keep the cost down as much as I can and I'll give you a really good example of that. We selected new door handles here. There were two door handles or three door handles that my builder gave me to choose from. One of the door handles was like $80. The other door handle was like $20. Which one do you think I picked? 
the $20 one. Again, with the bathroom and the kitchen, I chose stone in the kitchen and I chose laminate in the bathroom because everyone sees the kitchen bench. People use the kitchen bench so much, stone will last a lot longer than laminate. Bathroom, I know laminate won't last that long, but it was too costly for me to go and put stone in the bathroom as well. So I made peace with that decision. Oh my God, how cool. I have somewhere to lean you. I'm gonna lean on the bench while we answer the rest of the questions. This question is a good one. How did you choose your builder? To be totally transparent, I had three builders give me quotes for things or like a, a general scope of work when they came through the property. Two of them I just found randomly. No, sorry, one of them I found randomly. One of them contacted me from social media. And then Nathan is actually my friend Liana's partner. And I've known Nathan and Liana, I've known Liana for a long, long time. You guys would have seen her and Nathan in that video when I went to their house that night. And I went over just to get some guidance and help. And I really like the way that Nathan approached everything. And his advice has been very on par with like my goals and my visions in the sense that he'll tell me, Adele, don't spend $80 on that door handle, spend the $20 because it's going to be rented out. Like he has very solid advice. He also has good style decision making because he's helped me pick the paint, the floor, the handles, the cupboard, everything. So for me, I liked the holistic approach. I liked his level of service. I have nothing but good things to say to Stan Built. Guys, this is also not sponsored. I pay Nathan. I pay Stan Built. I'm obviously a paying customer and I love working with them and I would highly recommend them if you are looking to renovate your own property. I'm standing so weirdly <laughs> on this, but the lighting is all right. Any regrets so far? No, no regrets. I truly believe that everything works out the way it's meant to and I don't have any regrets. You know what I would have regretted? Not doing the bathroom. And the bathroom and the toilet was, was never meant to be done with this situation. It was just meant to be kitchen, laundry, flooring, knocking out that wall. And so unfortunately we made the call to include the bathroom because there were some very dodgy home renovations done on the bathroom. And I'm so glad we did because when Nathan ripped it up, there was black mold and all sorts of shit behind what we could see. So it ended up being a good decision, but I probably would have regretted that and then found out in like five or six years some like severe issues in the toilet or in the bathroom. Uh, I'm just going to answer one or two questions. I'm scared to live alone. I'm not moving in guys. I'm not moving right now. I'm staying where I am. I don't have any intentions of moving from my current living situation right now. I'm very safe at home. I'm very happy at home. Obviously, as I mentioned, the address got leaked. I wouldn't want to live here and that's okay. I'm in peace with that. Oh, this question. Have you stuck to your budget or have things gone over what you originally thought. I have not stuck to the budget. And I have not stuck to the budget because of the bathroom and the toilet. The bathroom and toilet were never part of the original quote. The bathroom and the toilet weren't quoted to me by any other builder. The bathroom and the toilet have been add-ons after the fact, which I chose to go ahead and do because I thought, I've got an empty property now. I'm still paying the fucking home loan. I may as well do it now while it's, I've got it empty and I'm already bleeding money at this point for this property. So it made sense and it's not overly. And I guess when I finish everything, I will give you a clear breakdown of how much everything costs, how much over the budget we went. At the moment, I've just been tracking what I've been spending or paying Nathan and I'll do a proper, I guess, analysis once we're done. And what else? do we have here? I can't believe we have a kitchen. I can't believe we have cupboards. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave the questions there because a lot of them are repeat questions. But if you have watched this and you have a specific question, please keep it in mind. There'll be more renovation videos to come. And obviously I want to keep it relevant and answer them as we go. So remember that for next time. And I am going to wrap up this video. I'm obviously so grateful that I am in a position to be able to do this. I'm obviously so grateful that you guys support me in the sense that I get to now do what I do for work and to earn money. And so I just hope you know that I'm never ungrateful. There's not a day that goes past that I'm not grateful for the position I'm in and I truly appreciate it. So thank you. And a little thank you to my builder because I know he's gonna watch this. Nathan, this looks fucking sick. I'm really, really, really happy. And I can't wait to see it finished. Obviously I will keep you guys in the loop, but for now, this is what we've got. If you like this video, please give it a like. Please leave me a comment. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys. I love my YouTube family. I hope that we can continue to grow together and I will see you next time. Bye.